And they bring all the vendors out, local vendors. Very nice 32. And for 45000 you can own this 31. And it's not a bad looking ride. Let's see if you can see. It looks like an interior. And my wife is not into old cars, but very nicely done and very cheap. The old Carmagia Volkswagen. Nice bikes. Old stock Indian. Suicide on it. An old Etzel. <laughs> and what the heck did he drop in? He dropped a Ford engine in it. Come on, you should remember that. <laughs> Not me, it's before my time. Oh, uh, yeah, okay. <laughs> nice looking Chevelle. Now, they were telling me this is one of their bigger events that they have over here. They get lots of people out of here. And uh, it's usually after 5 o'clock or 6 o'clock where you start seeing a lot more people.
guy in Washington where this guy's like, he's like the, the window guy of the world. No. Your truck? John, the truck. John, the truck. Yeah, with the hat on top of it. Okay. Right there. What? John. Hey, you made it from Vegas. <laughs> yeah. How you doing? Every time I come over here, Dick Carr says to say hi to you. <laughs> okay, well, don't leave your camera anywhere, Jim, okay? Keep your phone with you. Remember? <laughs> that was yours, right? Yeah, I lost yeah. it. I'm always losing stuff anymore. Where's the rest of the crowd? You bring them up? We only had one car come over with the Corvettes. Oh. I mean, everybody, they're... I'm trying to remember your first name. Rick. Rick. John, Not, okay. And, yeah. And uh, everybody's doing something. Wow. Yeah, there's... Uh, high school reunions, people just traveling for a month. Yeah, so. I'm trying to restore my, trying to get my 60 Chevy in the road, my Pala. So I'm trying to work on that now. But every time I come over here, Dick says, Oh, if you see him, uh, you're say hi. Guy. Yeah, how's he been doing? <laughs> he's doing good. His mother's going through a little rough time, but he's starting to do good. She's okay. So what's happening in Utah? Nah, the same old, same old. <laughs> same old. Playing with my Chevy at home, <laughs> trying to get it on the road, and restore it here in the next few years. Good. I just want to get it drivable so I can start driving it. Yeah. Still looking beautiful. Oh yeah, have fun with it. This guy here, my neighbor, just moved up. He's your neighbor now? Yeah, about six months, eight months ago. He got his own <laughs> engine shop back there. I mean, this, this guy's pretty dry, you know. He races this national. Good. Pretty good. <laughs> yeah, I got a funny story on that. Uh, our 61 Corvette. I had chameleon flames put on it. And there was a guy that came up to me and he was asking where it was painted at and everything. And I told him, I go, look, if you want a really quality paint job, go down and see this guy. He, he didn't do it. And he went and he had somebody else do a paint job for him. It turned out really bad. So, so my painter comes to the car show one night and this other guy Rick is there with his Corvette and I go Rick I go let me ask you a question and I go do you ever see a guy riding a bicycle for your neighborhood all the time he says yeah I go this is your neighbor the guy that painted my car for you ah, no I'll be dark <laughs> for me and he didn't know it so it was funny because he moved, he introduced himself to me and he said, Hey, I, I want to apologize that time. Now I'm going to have to start my car, truck back then. I guess too loud. He goes, What? I said, You can start that baby up anytime. That's music to me. <laughs> it's always, always good when you have a good neighbor move in uh, next to you. Now, if I can get a body guy and a paint, you 